Hey guys, welcome to Proactive Prudence. In this video, we'll be studying about anatomy. Uh, firstly, we'll be dealing about what is the definition of anatomy and its subdivisions. So, we'll see what is the uh, definition of anatomy. Human anatomy is a science which deals with the structure of human body. So, human anatomy is meant only to uh, see what the what are the structures that is present in human body what are the different functions of it we'll be studying about it in anatomy then anatomy is being derived from a greek word uh, called anatom meaning cutting up and uh, uh, dissection is a latin equivalent of the greek anatom so anatomy and dissection are not the same thing because dissection is just a technique uh, by cutting up into two but uh, anatomy is a wide field which involves dissection in it. Uh, so we'll move on to the subdivisions of uh, human anatomy. So the various subdivisions of anatomy are cadaveric anatomy, living anatomy, embryology, histology, surface anatomy, radiographic and imaging anatomy, comparative anatomy, physical anthropology, applied anatomy, experimental anatomy and genetics so since we have seen what are the different subdivisions of anatomy we'll just go through each uh, uh, subdivision of anatomy like we'll start off with cadaveric and end it up to genetics so what is cadaveric anatomy so you can see in the image there's a dead embalmed body so cadaveric anatomy is study of uh, dead embalmed body to study uh, cadaveric anatomy there can be two approaches that is you can study it in two different types one is by regional anatomy going through different regions either by lower limb or through uh, head and neck or brain or from upper limb you can start studying in different regions or you can start the cadaveric anatomy by systemic anatomy so what is systemic anatomy you know the different systems of human body that is your muscular system uh, cardiovascular system so these are different systems so cadaveric anatomy is study of dead embalmed body and there are two approaches to study cadaveric anatomy those are regional anatomy and systemic anatomy now we'll move on to the next subdivision which is living anatomy so living anatomy is studied by inspection palpitation auscultation endoscopy and radiography there you can see an animated picture of doctor uh, auscultating the uh, child uh, he is uh, just uh, listening to the heartbeat of the child so that is called as auscultation and you can see a palpitation a hand uh, photo next to the animated photo which is the palpitation so that is called as living anatomy next uh, uh, subdivision under anatomy is embryology so embryology is study of prenatal development uh, developmental changes in an individual so it is the study of the uh, baby which is un, uh, which is still not uh, born born and is being developing under the uh, inside the womb of a mother so embryology has two uh, different types which is developmental history which is called as ontogeny and evolutionary history called phylogeny so you just know what is embryology it is study of prenatal developmental changes in an individual so we'll move on to the next subdivision which is histology uh, it is a microscopic it is also called as microscopic anatomy it is study of the structures of different uh, tissues what are the cells that is present in the different tissues that is called as histology moving on to the next subdivision which is surface anatomy so surface anatomy is also called as topographic anatomy which is the study of deeper parts of body in relation to the skin surface so the doctor examines uh, the inner deeper organs by simply touching on the upper surface of the human body so you can see in the photo uh, the which is surface anatomy moving on to the sixth subdivision called radiographic and imaging anatomy so radiographic and in imaging uh, anatomy is study of bones and deeper organs by plane and contrast radiography radiography for example it can be ultrasound uh, ultrasound and uh, ct scans you can see the brain imaging of x-ray mra mri pt scan pat scan uh, and uh, ct scan so these are the different radiographic and imaging anatomy 
moving on to the next subdivision which is comparative anatomy comparative anatomy is just a comparison between different species with human uh, body uh, that is called as comparative anatomy you can see in the image there is uh, different animals that is being compared along with human anatomy moving on to the eighth subdivision physical anthropology it physical anthropo anthropology deals with the external features and the prehistoric remains of a uh, human so you can see the australopithecus uh, uh, skull and the homo erectus skull there is so much difference in the jaw protru protrusion also and the skull also so that is physical anthropology moving on to the ninth subdivision of uh, human anat anatomy that is applied anatomy you can see i have put a picture of a lung so you are studying anatomy of a lung along with the study of pneumonia so you are applying anatomy into various fields uh, either it can be surgery or uh, the other fields by applying anatomy into your studies it is called as applied anatomy so this ends up the video about uh, anatomy and its subdivision. So in the next video, I'll be uploading about uh, physiology and uh, introduction of cell organelles. Please do subscribe to the channel and uh, for the more videos.